This is Nellie Deutsch and I'm going to show you a plugin called Skype. Skype is an activity now on a Moodle course. First thing you do is you need to log into the site and I'm on a Moodle site called MMVC16 which is Moodle MOOC Virtual Conference. Once you log in, and there are different ways of logging in, notice uh, there are different services here. There is the Gmail, Facebook, and LinkedIn. I'm going to choose the Google. And if you've got a few uh, Google sites, you might want to do that and make sure that uh, each one of them is open. So I'm in. You can see I'm going to go into Preferences as a user and then edit my profile scroll down until I get to optional. Click on the optional and then you can add your web page and your Skype. I'm going to add my Skype because that's what makes sure that it's correct or it won't work. Save it or update profile in this case and I'm all set. I'm going to go into a course and because I'm admin let me go into MMVC16. I'm going to turn editing on as the admin, in this case manager, but you could be a teacher. And then I'm going to uh, choose an area here. Let me just add one tab there at the top. Call this tab, there we go, topic 6. I'm going to call it Skype. Call it anything but I'd like to call it Skype. Click on Edit so I can edit the section. Depending on the theme, you might see different editing options, different icons. So I'm going to call this Skype uh, Talks. Okay, Skype Talks. And then um, scroll down and simply click on Save Changes go into Skype Talks and then it, as I said it's an activity so I'm going to go to add an activity or resource. Notice they're joined here but you can separate them if you like. And then scroll down until I get to the letter S. There's Skype. It's an activity. Click on add just like I would any other activity. Notice the question here. Help with Skype. Click on it and you'll get this as the content of the help tooltip associated with the stuff. Field markdown syntax is supported. All right, so I'm going to uh, write my Skype name, which is Nelly. Okay, that's my Skype name. And then notice what's here, the fields, next chat. When I want to do it, right now it's 6.30 my time, common settings, I can show, I can make it in groups, but I'm not going to have it in groups, no groups. Restrict access, you can restrict this in different ways, by date, grade, group, user profile. Now you might not want to get people that you don't know, but on the other hand, it has to be a student. So you're fine. You're not going to get guests to come in there. So again, let me add Skype username and simply save the whole thing. And that's it. Now let's see what it looks like. There it is. Now users can simply click on it and as you can see these are all the participants and none of them have their Skype added because they didn't know about it. So once they do, and uh, in this case all participants, if they do, I'll be able to connect with them. So let's see if there is anyone there. Okay, that's me. Just wanted to show you what it will look like when their Skype is added. You can create a conference create a chat, send voicemail, add contact. But notice you've got all of this, so you'll be able to do it if they have a Skype account. Otherwise, notice it's grayed out. You cannot do anything. And that's it. So add Skype to your profile. You never know. Thank you.